Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's Mental Monday. about something that I'm not actually sure how common it is but I know it gets talked about a lot and I know it is a real thing that some people struggle with during this time of year during the cold weather during the dimmer days during overcast bad weather days and having being indoors more the struggle is real and so I want to talk about seasonal affective disorder so according to my trusty Mayo Clinic, seasonal affective disorder is, in their overview, described as a type of depression that's related to changes in seasons. It begins and ends at the, about the same times every year. If you're like most people with seasonal affective disorder, your symptoms start in the fall and continue into the winter months, sapping your energy and making you feel moody. Less often, seasonal affective disorder causes depression in the spring or early summer. So the symptoms that are listed for seasonal affective disorder are feeling depressed most of the day, nearly every day, losing interest in activities you once enjoyed, having low energy, having problems with sleeping, experiencing changes in your appetite or weight, feeling sluggish or agitated, having difficulty concentrating, feeling hopeless, worthless, or guilty, and having frequent thoughts of death or suicide. The fall and winter seasonal affective disorder specifically have oversleeping, appetite changes, especially a craving for foods high in carbs, weight gain, and tiredness, or low energy. The spring and summer specific symptoms can be trouble sleeping, so insomnia, poor appetite, weight loss, and agitation or anxiety. So in short, it's a depression and mood disorder connected to the change in season. This fall and winter version is definitely more common, and that's basically because the weather gets colder so you're staying inside more. It also is not as sunny most of the time. It's usually very dark, very cold, at least overcast, and it can be bad weather. All of those things combined can create a more cooped up feeling. It can create a more somber feeling, and that can add to changing in seasons being very difficult. Some people really don't like the atmosphere the fall and winter give on top of some people really really need that sun and that light and warmth and they really feed off of it and thrive under it so when that changes and they're not getting it it can bring on depression and anxiety around that time period so I thought of just a few ways to try to cope or deal with seasonal affective disorder I don't know if these would help avoid it. Maybe they would. But the few things that I thought of that might help seasonal affective disorder is really, really using what you do enjoy about that time of year to the hilt. So if you hate this weather, but you love Christmas, blow up Christmas like nobody's business. Like do Christmas everything and that'll get you, give you a little boost in mood. It'll make you a little happier. It'll give you something to look forward to. Whatever you enjoy about this time of year, amplify and really focus on that. Second, if it's the cold that you really, really don't like, make yourself warm. Drink warm drinks, drink a lot of hot chocolate or tea or coffee, sit by a fire, bundle up with a lot of scarves and feel that coziness if you enjoy that. And, and that will bring a little more warmth into it. If it's the darkness outside that is hard for you, make your house brighter. Put a lot of Christmas lights, put brighter lights, and really use that to brighten your house and make it, at least inside, 
a little brighter. There's also all of the typical things that can help with self-care, like taking bubble baths if you like that, listening to music, reading a good book, and just relaxing, doing things like that that can really feed you if those are things that help you. Finding what helps you the best and using that to your advantage is going to be key. So those are just a few of my thoughts. I'm sure there are a ton more that I have not thought of or mentioned, and I would love to hear your guys' ideas for different ways to help with af seasonal affective disorder. If you do struggle with this and you have found things that help you, please feel free to share them in the comments below. And I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you some ideas. If it did and you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. And if you are not already subscribed, click the screen and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.